Hello, Leo. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for whenever you clicked on the title at the time that it may have intrigued you. So let's have a look at your week ahead. And also, if you're interested in an extended reading, the cost is $10. Everything's in the description, but that $10 gives you access for a full month of the weekly zodiacs, all the zodiacs, and the daily afternoon delights. We give away gemstones every Sunday night to the members. Um, well, we pick a member every week. Um, Sunday night, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, live right here on this channel on YouTube. So for those of you who are joining us that night, put your names down in the comment sections there in the chat, the, the live chat window, and the moderators will put your names up for me to pull you some free cards for fortune telling. So let's have a look at your animal oracles for the week ahead. We have the water dragon and the fox. Now the fox can be very diplomatic, knows when to come out to be seen, when to be hiding, and let things unfold and watch carefully. The water dragon is about some things that are surfacing in you, Leo, that may be from the past, may be triggers, may be scary, uh, dealing with the emotions. So this could be about things coming to light, triggered from the past, uh, triggered things in your past that uh, spirit is helping you to, to look at, face, to be brave, deal with, heal. The diplomatic fox, if it's somebody that's triggering it with you, um, try to temper it with wisdom because the fox can also be about dishonesty too or being manipulative. So you have that ability to do that. But if you stay within your integrity, there's a lot of healing that can take place here. So let's get on with the tarot portion of your reading. All cards have been pre-shuffled. Um, to avoid the nuisance and for me to focus just on the reading but I do cut in front bottom of the deck you have the page of earth someone coming into a gift to offer you a gift uh, an offer of stability to stabilize a situation something uh, from the heart but it's also something tangible your crowning energy is the ace of air this brand new beginning this ability to start a new creative reality without the baggage of the past. Now, isn't that interesting that you got the water dragon being triggered your emotions and being able to put the past in the past? This is a week of opportunity for you to heal from something that hurt you, possibly when you were a child. Your other crowning, will, oh, I'm so not surprised. Hidden things. Hidden things are being revealed to you. Some maybe hidden darkness within you or something hidden is resurfacing for you to face. And maybe it is a time for you to uh, withdraw, kind of disappear into the bushes and just watch from a distance and allow it to unfold naturally you may not understand it and it may be emotional but you've definitely got spiritual help you may have a Pisces as a friend or a lover ace of fire yeah there is this opportunity for this brand new beginning that's passionate clean slate there's spiritual healing here and it may seem like, geez, I hope that wasn't a tower moment. It may seem like you're moving slowly. You're like, wow, am I ever going to heal from this? Am I ever going to get over that? Am I on the right path? Well, if I'm on the right path, it just seems so slow. Your fire energy, Leo, you like action. You want this fiery, passionate, new beginning that's clean without the baggage of the past. And you're like hit with the water dragon. You're like, what? Where did that come from? It makes you withdraw to get that spiritual healing. And it makes you feel like you're moving at a snail's pace. Be patient with yourself, Leo, because this card also tells you you're on the right path. The steps that you are taking are sure steps. 
You're at a crossroads. This is the time for you to take time. When you make this decision, it will be the right decision. And as exhausting as it is, you've got spiritual help. Your spirit guide is pick, you know, spirit is picking you up to put you on a guide's back. Grab the hermit's lantern to carry you across to the other side. So you might even want to kick your heels into the side of the draft and say, giddy up, let's get there quick. But you know at this point you're exhausted. You need to do this uh, methodically, step by step. We have an offer of love, maybe an apology, and the opportunity to paint a whole new canvas, a whole new reality. A whole new passionate beginning a spiritual healing yeah something from the past is rearing its ugly head you're looking back with nostalgia maybe some sadness and regrets this is just spirit helping you Leo to face some things that just need to be like loose ends being tied up need to be healed in order for you to have this passionate new beginning without this baggage holding you down. There's going to be a judgment call here made from something from your past, whether it's a person, place, behavior, thing. You're going to make a judgment call to put this to rest. It has you up in your head, sleepless nights, worry, overanalyzing, Thinking that the problem is bigger than it actually is. Some of you could be crying. You know, this is sleepless nights crying. Nostalgia over the past or feeling that uh, sense of loss. Or this judgment call to end something makes you feel like you lost a part of yourself. You know, if this is a trigger of something that happened in your past, something that you have to work through and spiritually heal from and work through those emotions and allow it to unfold naturally and heal you, this withdrawal, it's necessary. Leo, just keep in mind, spirit is looking after you and it is not as bad as you think. Things will unfold in a way that they should. There is a message that's coming in. He's a bumbling knight, this one. Coming in, oh, save the day! Like, and then he trips on his face. Um, they come in with a message of clarity, support, uh, wanting to help, sometimes making it worse than it is, <clears throat> blowing it out of proportion. No, settle down. Thank you very much. But, you know, I got this. I'm good. It also could be a message that, you know, helps you to see something more clearly. And this is also a possibility of dogma. The way you're seeing things as right and wrong are not necessarily right or wrong. There are shades of gray in a black and white world. Believe it or not, you're going into hermit mode. You've gone into your head. You've gone way up into your head, worrying, overanalyzing. You need to do the fox. I mean, yes, you're, you've withdrawn. You've withdrawn for this, trying to spiritually heal, trying to work through these emotions. Spirit is working with you. But spirit is also saying you're taking the right steps, even though they seem slow. You are taking the right steps and this will unfold naturally. This too shall pass. And this time when you go through that trigger, each time that happens, you heal a little more. So let's get into the spiritual part of your reading like we weren't all there, right there already. This is the shaman deck, your ancestors, spiritual guides and guardians. And this is about you needing to see something from a different perspective. But once you see it, you cannot un unsee it. It is something that is going to bring clarification and uh, liberation. Being able to see things for what they truly are. So you may be up in your head with worry and anxiety, but clarity is coming. 
the Earth Keeper. Your manner, your gifts, your qualities. This is about staying grounded. I mean, you want to fly here, have this brand new beginning. But there's also needing that balance of staying grounded. Staying grounded, staying on an evil, even keel. That just before you take flight, maybe this is the time for you to take reflection. What is it I need to cut out for my new beginning? Because your new beginning involves stability, balance, groundedness, and helping others, doing something that is like a humanitarian thing that helps the world, helps people, taming the wind. You need to tame your thoughts. You're thinking things are hidden or these things that were hidden inside of you, deep inside of you were triggered and surfaced. This is about the conscious effort of self-discipline to tame those thoughts, to not jump to conclusions. You have help, your spiritual help, family help, friend help. And they're applauding you for this passionate new beginning, whatever you embarked on or are embarking on. You have the support and love of many around you. Helping hands. Spiritual. Oh, you're going to go into hunter mode. I'll tell you what, as soon as I heal from this. I'm going to know exactly what I want and I'm going to go after it. <clears throat> and the hunter, bless him, earth energy, doesn't take more than he needs. This is you living your authentic self. Well, if you can't move fast forward, you might as well dance, Leo. Get into the rhythm of that vibration. Your authentic self being who you are and just trusting have faith in the situation that you're on the right path this crossroads there is no wrong answer it is completing a cycle so that you can begin this brand new passionate clean beginning without the baggage of this past that has haunted you for a lifetime Maybe it's something you were just fooling yourself about with the fox energy. But it's coming to surface for healing. Breaking the curse. You will have this new canvas to create a new reality. You're breaking a curse. And that is why these energies came up. Because you were ready. The planets lined up. You're ready to close out a cycle to begin like these loose ends, tie up these loose ends, deal with this so that you're free to move forward. This person from the past or behavior or situation that keeps coming back over and over, it just always had you confused, always had you in a daze like, you, I wish I could see how this is going to turn out and is it, is it even right for me to go in that direction? Is you really battling with yourself? The smoky mirror promises you that when the veil lifts, all will be clear. There won't be anything hidden from you. Leo, at the crossroads, when you make that decision, that cycle closes, the veil lifts, and you have that new beginning. This judgment call is that crossroads. When you make that judgment call, you are lifted. The veil is lifted and you are lifted to the heights of being able to see past the boundaries of where you used to hunt. The hunter is about to expand his territory. Needless worrying. You might feel like you're not ready. You might feel like you're just not ready. You know, when we have relationships that don't work out, we lose a piece of our soul. This card shows up to, to tell us we've retrieved that missing piece. We're whole now. And that there's nothing for you to worry about. It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to stand in your power.
And whatever this trigger was, be grateful, even if it was an awful feeling to work through. Maybe this person triggered it. Be grateful because the child is not ignorant. The child is beginning a new cycle here with the knowledge she has gained from her past. This is taking the past experiences and being the tools of your blessings for the future. Being able to, the child is able to, you know, leap forward on their path without the attachments of this past energy that keeps being triggered and popping up and saying, remember me? I'm your worst nightmares that always keep coming up and triggering you. This is releasing that. Dealing with it. And the hermit. Are you coming out of hermit mode? Oh yeah. You're going to go where the wind blows. This is you gain, uh, regaining that control of the mind. The control of the thoughts. This is about the ability of the law of attraction to send out your intentions, your thoughts, your desires, sending them out to the universe and saying, this is what I want. Sending it out on the winds of communication and the universe turning to bring it to you. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading now. I hope you join us, Leo. Please subscribe and hit like. It really does help my videos get out there. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you on the other side. Everything's in the description. Bye for now. Oh, and hit the wiggly bell for notifications when you subscribe. God bless.